Hi, and Happy New Year. This is Jules Muller, Chief Chick at Chicks Connect, and I want to walk you through the activity this week so that you really understand the importance of why we're starting with this particular topic. So January week one is love of self, and I know a lot of you are so eager to jump right into your businesses and start working on your businesses and for sure spend your time in your chapter meetings talking about your businesses, uh, but do take a moment and just read through this answer the questions yourself and really commit to making yourself a priority. So I'm just going to read through this and hopefully it will inspire you to make yourself top priority and really fill up your heart and your soul and your body and mind so that you're ready to take your business to the next level. Okay, so almost every survey response mentioned the following, more me time, learning to love myself, self-care, balancing work and time for myself. Well, I heard you loud and clear, and I firmly believe that in order to fully excel in your business, passion, or work life, you have to take care of you first. So we start off the month of January by making ourselves a priority. Take some time to answer the questions and then be prepared to ask for support and accountability in scheduling these things into your day, week, month, year, so that you are fulfilled and able to lead your business or passion with a loving heart of abundance rather than a depleted heart of scarcity and anxiety. Okay, so the first question is list the things that make you happy and fill your heart with joy. For example, maybe funny movies or playing cards with friends, things like that. The next question says list the things that make your body feel good as a way of pampering yourself. For example, sitting in the hot tub or getting a massage. Then list the activities that center you and or connect you to a higher power. That might be reflecting, journaling, lists of gratitude, and prayer. So make sure to continue to add to the list as you hear your sister chicks sharing their ideas that sound good to you. And remember, if you're not part of a chapter, you can simply connect with another chick online in one of the Facebook groups or in the online chapter, and you can just say, hey, for 2016, let's be accountability partners and let's review these lessons together. We can do it in about 15 minutes and then just really hold one another accountable to taking action steps. So that's another idea in case you're not part of an active chapter. So then you want to determine how much time you will dedicate to you. Some tasks will be daily, while others may, re may be weekly, monthly, yearly. See example below. So you're just going to fill in how many hours uh, you will, or days, or weeks, you'll spend on a particular task. So for example, how much time will you spend on yourself daily? I put down two hours for the morning routine, the workout, and relaxing. So two hours just for self-care on a daily basis. How much time you'll spend on yourself weekly? I put down eight hours. Sunday is self day, a day of replenishing. How much time will you spend on yourself monthly? So th this isn't cumulative, so we're not gonna add all these things up. We're just going to say, okay, once a month, I'm willing to splurge and get a massage. You know, so you would put down one hour monthly massage, or maybe you do things, you know, five hours, five massages a month, however you wanna do that, but then it, I guess it would be weekly. How much time will you spend on yourself yearly? So maybe two weeks and you take a vacation to Hawaii. So even if you don't have those things planned, what would you like to do? Go ahead and put those down. So how much time are you willing to spend on yourself daily, weekly, monthly, yearly? And what are the things that you're committed to doing? So write those things down. Make sure to factor in all the wonderful things that you wrote down on page number one. Set the intention, make the commitment, and keep your word to yourself because you deserve to be well cared for. You deserve to have time to fill your heart with joy and happiness. You deserve to take care of your beautiful body, and you deserve to have quiet time to center and connect to your higher power and self. So how do you suppose the woman will show up in the world who has taken this task seriously and made herself a priority versus the woman who's frantically pushing the limits of time, doing, doing, doing for everyone else and neglecting herself? Think about that for a minute. Make your New Year's resolution for 2016 to take care of yourself just as you would your own child or your mother or a loved one or your business. You are important and you have important work to do. So I would love to hear all about how you're taking care of yourselves. If you happen to write any reflections of this activity, I'd love to share them in the Chicks Connect blog. 
please send them to support at chicksconnect.com. Make sure to mention your business and a link to your website. Yes, if you noticed, I snuck in a way to promote your business while you're taking care of yourself during your journaling. So always be thinking about how we at Chicks Connect can promote you. So if you had a big aha or a, a realization or just a really great grounding centering day or you're having so much fun focusing on you or maybe you had a huge paradigm shift from being hardwired to work to changing and learning how to play and having work come to you. So any of those things that come up for you and you want to write a little reflection journal and send it over to us, we would love to post it. And of course, we want to promote you at the same time. So send your logo, send some pictures, and the links to your website. Next week, we'll be brainstorming all the things that we love about our businesses or passions and all the things that we really don't love about our businesses and passions. So what do you suppose we can do with the things that we really don't love? Well, we're so excited to be connecting with you, and this is going to be our best year ever, 2016 XOXO, love me. Um, so I just wanna put this out there for all of you. I'll do these recordings if you find them helpful. And again, I'm always uh, looking for input and suggestions. I do wanna mention that we have our CCIC event coming up in Eugene, Oregon, Springfield, Eugene, Oregon. And if you haven't registered for that, please do so right away. Members will always get in for free, and your guests uh, will now be required to pay $27, but that will get them a free month of membership. So essentially, they're registering for the event for free um, after they join the membership. So, And again, they can always cancel at any time. And we just look forward to connecting with you, and I'm super, super excited. So have a wonderful, wonderful Happy New Year. Have fun this next week, and I'll look forward to seeing a lot of you in a few weeks from now. Thank you.